Hi, everybody. This is uh, him downstairs on the Gorilla Spinning Podcast. I think we're in Gorilla Spinning number seven. Yeah, seven. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Okay. So this topic, we're going to talk, um, I'm going to discuss about video games. Yeah, yeah. I know I play a bunch of video games. I mean, I have a I have a channel, him downstairs, and, and you've seen several different episodes on, on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch and God knows wherever. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to talk about um, why I like video games, and it's 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 not going to be a deep subject like the last one. I think the last one was about Passport Bros and stuff, which I wore. Actually, actually, that is I have to thank everybody who's watched it, and um, that it's been a very popular, interesting topic. So I will return to it because there's still there's still more I want to talk about it. But I think I also want to talk about other things instead of just that particular subject. I mean, um, you know, there's a lot more out there, a lot more stuff out there about me than just about traveling, uh, traveling abroad and meeting. <laughs> I won't say that and, and having experiences and such. Right. All right. So let's let's uh, let's let's get into it. All right. So anyway, as far as video games concerned, I've played video games since I was I'm going to say eight, nine years old. And the first system I had, it was um, it was a console um, called a Triangle sh Shake Game. Okay, okay, now I remember it. It was called the Coleco Telestar Arcade, and it had like a it was like a triangle, right? And it had one was looked like a bunch of knobs. One side was a gun. The other side was a wheel with a shifter on it, right? And it had like a and the cartridges were triangle. You place it on top you know it looked like some shit from stargate or something like that you place a little triangle thing on top and then you could play you could play only three games on it that was it you can play pong he play something i think it was like duck hunt and then the other game was um was a driving game you know it was yeah quick draw it wasn't it wasn't duck hunt it was called quick draw where you take this other opponent out and then you had road race and then you had uh tennis which was technically pong but you know they couldn't say pong whatever anyway so i played that and uh i had that and i didn't have it for long because i liked it but you know and then i progressed to what was it atari and then after atari then then i had intellivision then i had ColecoVision, then i had all these other different uh all these it was like at that time you had all these different consoles that come out with something and i was my hands was on it and i always played it because one i was a single i'll say single child doesn't make sense but uh my mother it was just, i was in a single parent household, I was raised in a single parent household until the latter part of my uh, years before I became a uh, a young adult. Right, so I, my mother, I, I was considered a latchkey kid. And for people who don't understand what a latchkey kid was, was that you didn't necessarily you didn't have a babysitter because your mom couldn't afford it, or your parent couldn't afford it, or and you were at that age where you're not necessarily old enough to take care of yourself. And I was still a minor, but you know it was like I I. Knew knew what I needed to do. My mom, you know, had things set up and organized, you know. I knew how to cook and clean and all that. So anyway, back to the thing with video games. It's so stupid. But uh, video games and television was a way for me to relax. It was like my babysitter. I didn't need a babysitter. I had television. And then when the when I started having video game consoles, I, you know, did my homework and it was time for me to play video games. So, and I played it for a long time, sometimes for, I don't know, uh, therapy <laughs> or or when I was having a bad day, you know, bad day at school, bad day with, you know, friends, maybe the girlfriend was causing me some pain, it was being a pain in the ass at that time. But I always played video games. I always knew I felt comfortable, you know. And, as, you know, as I got older and I said, as a teenager, I, I still played video games. I had a, uh, my best friend from when I was, I would say before I was a teenager, he had the Nintendo NES, <clears throat> right? And then I used to go over his house and play games. Play games, which was cool back then. I, I think that's what uh, was cool because I still had friends I could connect to, but we also had something that we also played on as well. So we played outside, but we also played video games. And it was until when I became a teenager and I went to high school, I just started having. I started playing, you know, just no friends really just started playing just video games. And then I had what was the Sega Master System. Yeah, Sega Master System and Sega Genesis. And I was playing all these different games like Space Harrier, Afterburner, uh, Quartet, um, Wonder Boy, you know, um, all these different games. And it was cool. I, I loved it. Um, even Zillion. Zillion was a cool game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I played all these different games and it was, it was, I don't know. I was in another world. I didn't have to worry about 
the real life or and i was a kid anyway who, what, what the fuck i cared about that you know <laughs> it was just like i i enjoyed playing video games and that was it and and even when i got married you know uh i played some video games not as much because i guess my interests were a little bit different and such and then i was working a lot and after that i i don't you know after that it just there's like this this sort of this is void where it's like i can't remember anything the only thing i can remember was I moved with my girlfriend. And this was this was like in this was like probably what 1997, 98, 97, 98, right? And I played some game video games, and then and then I got divorced, and then not divorced. I I separate because um, just having problems, and uh, and then I went in the military, and then after I went in the military, it was like that that whole year I didn't play video games because I was so concentrating on trying to just fit in and all that. And then once I got my my um, well, no, 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 that's that's a no i'm messing up on that i for the i would say for the first six seven weeks i was in the military i wasn't doing anything i wasn't playing any video games it was still after basic training i went to something they call ait it's called advanced individual uh training which means you go to your school you go to your school to learn whatever your specific uh skill is so my skill or my job was being an x-ray tech an actual radiographer so it was like six months so we had these um barracks and so i could play i actually I actually i hooked up my playstation i bought a mini tv with a vc with a mini mini tv and a mini vcr together like a like the custom built and then you can hook like your playstation and because everyone had playstations in their wall lock this was hilarious and so so yeah so I, like i said i've been playing it for like quite a while and and so you know phase up to um when i went overseas when i deployed i always had a console i always had a console either it was a playstation or an xbox when the xbox came out yeah that was <laughs> that was big that was big to me and i always i always pride on myself on having both i never wanted i didn't want to have one or consider one because i felt like there was this war between xbox and sony you know and then nintendo i think after i think it was after i think after i went to win the military i didn't even consider buying nintendo anymore i just wasn't into it nintendo was all like the the kids games it was for kids you know and while your while your sega and your playstations were just your violent adult games i don't know i, I just felt that was what it was and maybe maybe i'm misled maybe i don't i don't know what the fuck was going on but that's what i played but anyway uh once that once that was done i mean once once i was like i i think it was like after i was deployed came back went to um lived back in the states um uh, i was still playing them i was playing them more and more and more and more because i just didn't care for people as much <laughs> You know, I didn't, I didn't have really good relationships. You know, um, and most of the time I couldn't count on people, and I could always count on my video games. You know, my video games were always there as long as I had a working internet and TV and and, and power. I had it. You know, and and then later on, I would say the last eight or nine years, I I remember when multiplayer was coming out. I didn't do that as well. I mean, multiplayer has been out for forever, but I just I started getting into multiplayer when like about eight or nine years ago, and that was. That was fun. I mean, I as now probably with multiplayer, I don't play that many games except it was like maybe Call of Duty. And it was interesting because like my first multiplayer shooting, I guess, game would be uh, Battlefront. Battlefront 2. Yes, Battlefront 2. Uh, that was to me the introduction to being a multiplayer playing that was to me very cool i loved it uh i i didn't think i would i, I thought i would hate it at first and because i remember before then i played um a game called titanfall and the and it was and i didn't know it was multiplayer i thought he was just a i thought i had a story behind it and it was multiplayer and Oh, and as soon as the door opened and I ran out, I got my head blown off. I was like, this is bullshit. I can't play. I don't want to play these games anymore. And, I, and so I, I stayed away from multiplayer. But I don't know. It was like when I bought Battlefront 2, I found out you could play it like a regular game. But the AI was weak and all that stuff. However, they did have a, um, a multiplayer, which when after I played it, it was like, wow. I was hooked. I was so hooked. Oh, my God. I'm sorry for you. I, I was so hooked. And, and then from there... Um, we had we had COD, you know, COD after that, and damn, 
<laughs> so, and I've been a, I have been addicted. I would say I'm addicted to COD, and, and and I think it's it's probably because of the violence, because it's just one of those. It's one of those things. that's very fast. I play it fast. I don't play. Um, and I mean, it kind of just changed my. It kind of made me more. I would say COD affected me more as as a, as a video game player that I didn't really branch off into other games. See, like before, I'd say probably up to the last eight. Or nine years i was playing all these different types of games you know i played like your street fighter games i play like your your fighter games your shooter games even some rpgs but then when cod came over it took it, it just made it like it took over everything like i could play the other game for a little bit i can play like a a um a horror game for a little bit but then it's like oh no i gotta get it to cod it's kind of like my fix i gotta get my fix <laughs> and so and um and then um like now i'd say now oh my god it's it's different because as i was playing kyle let's say the first couple of years i was getting really good at it i started you know adapting to the maps and so and like i said um, you know, multiplayer. I was adapting to the maps, and everything was fine. Then you had the hackers or the mods or whatever that were just fucking everything up, and that pissed me off. And it was a point that was even pr- I was even prideful. Like I, I felt like myself. I, I was like Neo or something because I didn't have all these different aim bots or all these little different mini, mini all these little assistants or or mods to help you make be a better player. I just felt like, oh no, I know how to do it. I know how to I can do it without it I can I'm better because I had experience because I had hand good hand eye coordination but nowadays you don't need that all thing you need is like a Cronus Zen or some shit hook it up you pay a hundred bucks hook it up you could do all the all the trick shit you want to with a drop of a button and you don't even have to be a good call you don't even have to be a good um player you know and so that that kind of ticked me off for the longest because i felt like in some ways the only reason why other people were winning was because they had assistance let's just say the quote unquote assistance but after a while i, I started noticing myself um you know, as like i said i was getting older yeah i mean my mind's sharp but you know i'm not going to be as fast on everything as let's say a younger person would be or someone who's like maybe nine or ten years old or 12 years old right so um you know i started no- you know and then i started noticing just other stuff with with me like health wise like i started noticing i started having like migraines i mean i been having migraines all my life but you know my migraines have been more intense and it's because i've been actually gripping the controller like you know flexing in some ways and you can't and that's not good you know to do and what else that i mean as far as like i used to stay up late and play a game five or six hours i can't do that i can't play a game i can probably play a game up to three or four hours <laughs> and then after that i i just lose i i start to slow down I start to notice myself, my attention dwindling to other things, and it messes up my my focus, you know. And I was just like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't fucking do it. I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. And um, and even to the point that uh, it was like what, last year, I took I, I took a pause from playing video games, and, or it, you know, I said I took a pause from streaming. I took a pause from video games, period, because you know, to finish school, and you know, and that got me thinking. And I was like, is, you know, I would see all when I say thinking and, and, and before I let me let me start over on that. You know, I, I realized how games were affecting me health wise. And then even to, you know, and you would hear people say, oh, I, I, I think video games are just, you know, a waste of time. You know, you want to do other things in your life and focus on other things in your life. And then um, and if you play video games, you're not going to be able to do these things. And then I would, you know, and this was the time I was really into watching different content creators say different things and especially when you had people like from like let's say the manosphere and even the black manosphere and they talked about like um and and people that i would even follow and listen to you know these these guys that would talk about all this great in, this information they talk about or even give out advice they would talk about like video games was the worst thing ever like you know you're not gonna grow you're not gonna you know do this and to the point i was like no you know what i'm fine where i'm at you know i i mean I have, you know, I have a couple of bachelor's degrees. I have a master's degree, you know, I have, you know, you know, I make a, a certain, I make an okay income, not the best, but I make an okay income. And, you know, they keep hearing this and then, and then now getting into all these, 
you know, starting, you know, businesses and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, I, I mean, I understand gaming is part of that business. I have to play in order to keep the thing going, you know, the machine going as, as far as my business. But as for other things, it's like, yeah, you know, I didn't have time for that. And I'm not trying to solely put it that video games are slowly putting me in this this point of despair and blame video games for, for such and such. But then on the other hand, I look at it like if I didn't, you know, I look at it last year when I had to go to, you know, finish up school and my master's. I, if I was playing video games, I wouldn't have the time or energy to do it. Or much less the energy. And so, um, and even to the point, I even questioned, like, you know, should I even go back to playing, you know, to streaming? But then it was like, should I even go back to playing video games? And, you know, and, and eventually, I even think eventually, maybe, I, I'm not going to say how long, but eventually I'll even give up playing video games and focus more on, like, what I do now. It's like podcasting. I, I actually like that, you know. I think I think I'm more better suited in that than just playing video games. I mean, video games for me, it will always be there. You know, I it, I it will always be there as far as like there's a probably a game I want to play, and if I play it, then I'll play it on my own time and and you know, but not something that's to a point of like advertise it and try to sell it and see what everyone you know how everyone's doing on it, you know or how I'm doing on it and let everyone view it. You know, I just you know part of me feels that way, and other parts like yeah, you know, <laughs> there's other people who can do that, you know. <laughs> So yeah, um, but yeah, I, you know, I, 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 I hope, uh, I hope things will. I hope. I don't know. I mean, I'm even thinking about the VR stuff, and like, I, I, I touched. I played a couple of games. But I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, it's like there's things that I want to do, or there's things actually I want to do to entertain myself, and I feel sometimes that video games sometimes can be a burden, but other times it can be a great thing. You know, uh, do I still play COD? Yes, I do. Um, I'm even, I play a little mixture between uh, Vanguard and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare, you know, I, I, as far as, as far as everything else. But yeah, uh, I, I, you know, like I said, I, I don't know what's going to happen. And then I would say next couple of years, I'll still play games. But after that, I don't know. You know, it's just uh, or what I mean, played as, as far as like stream it, or maybe it's just something that I'll stream once in a while. Depends on, depends on my fan base, if it grows or not, you know, <laughs> It's always something with me, right? It's always something can't can't be uh, can't put your finger on. Okay, well, I like I said, this one I believe was this this particular episode of Gorilla Spitting was going to be sort of a, a short one, a real I wouldn't say a real short one, but uh, you know something something to keep uh, everyone at bay or keep you know keep everyone's mouth full until I come back with a, a passport, another one I would say like the passport bros because I think uh, that particular one I have some more information and more stuff I want to talk about about that, um, and especially when and then I like to hear what you and else honestly i'd like to hear what you have to say you as the audience i mean as far as um all the episodes of gorilla spinning because i talked about a lot of different things and it's and i i, I like i said the first season excuse me if you all say season first season i wanted it to be more towards about me getting you to know me as far as the way i think and how i feel about things and express and then that way or my view about certain uh, um certain interests and such and then later on i talk a little bit more in depth about um i talk a little bit more in depth about what i you know how i feel about certain topics and subjects um i you can check this out on youtube um i might put this one on spotify i don't know yet but i also have a podcast on spotify called gorilla staring okay um i'll put the links out there on on this one particularly and i'll see you in a week or so okay um just remember stay focused never settle and good hunting gorilla spitting out